Okay, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I told y'all I was coming back with another video. Uh, now I want to talk about Nini. Nini is another person who is just like say my oh that's done. Ooh, I'm sweaty too, but oh 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 y'all got my name on my glasses. But anyway, yeah, I got a little bump coming in. But that's just that's not what this is about. Nini is another person who is a fucking problem. I excuse my language, but she is a problem. I dislike her. She is just like Tamar. I don't I wonder are they friends. They probably not because two people who are just just alike probably bump heads. Yeah, they probably not friends. But let me get over here. Nene is a problem. We come to find out. See now a few days ago, last week, she went on her YouTube channel, and she said how she was not returning to um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Lady, we been knew that. You been negotiating and trying to get in the contract or whatever, you know, trying to negotiate the contract, and they already recording. We knew you were not coming back. You should have announced that back in May, June, to save yourself, because we already, we already knew that. I believe they tried to, you know... Get her to settle with a lower rate or whatever. And they knew she wasn't. And they kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. So she said, you know, I'm not going to do that. And they just like, okay, well, we got to let you go or whatever. That's what I think happened. I don't think she got fired or nothing like that. I just think they... Nene is accustomed to a certain, you know, payment or whatever, however you want to call it. First of all, we don't need Nene. I can't stand her. She, when she on the show, she act like she cannot stand the girl. She act like she too good. She act like she bougie. She act like she better than everybody. She act like she just got it, got it like that. You know what I'm saying? So if you really don't want to be around them, why the fuck are you on the show? Get the fuck on. You should have been left. But oh, I forgot. This is how she make her money. But why you just can't be on the show, make your money, and just play play the game just play the game be nice if you want to call it fake be fake just play the game do what you got to do you and when i say and, and people say oh you being nice to that person you know you don't even like them that's fake that is not fake baby that's called being mature okay it's called being mature there's so many people that i dislike y'all but they don't phase me like that till where I just, when I get around them, they just make me so angry. Nobody, nobody phased me like that. In the past, people probably have phased me like that. But when you get older and you get mature, people cannot phase you like that where they just take over your whole energy and just mess up your whole mood. Like when somebody can come in your space and mess up your whole mood like that, you need to evaluate yourself because that's the problem. So with Nene... She just act like she don't want to deal with them, and they was irritating her, and this and that, and the third. Like, she didn't really want to be around them. Well, that was the season before. This last season, the season that, the last season that was aired, she was basically begging bitches to be her friend. She was begging to be, she wasn't even in all the episodes. That was probably in the process of getting with her ass anyway. She was not in all the episodes, and... The episode she was in, she was basically begging people to, like, hang with her, be her friend. She was apologizing to Eva, apologize to Portia, because she, she ain't got no friends now. You they messed up your trust with everybody, and you've been rude to everybody for so long. Now nobody want to deal with you, and you here to make your money. You got to be on the episode. You got to make your money. If you're not on the episode, I guess you don't get paid for that episode or whatever, because obviously you're not in it, and you've been a dick to everybody. You've been a dick to everybody, so, you know, who's going to want to film with you? Like, let's be serious. So, now she's not even in, the, she's not even going to be in the season. She's done. She said that she had some good times or whatever and blah, blah, blah. She's been on the show since I think it started back in 2008. That's a long time. I'm sweating, y'all. Like, this sun is blazing. I'm hot. I'm about to go home. I just really wanted to say that. I don't like Nene. I don't like Tamar. People who are rude and ignorant and sh and swear they bougie when they're ghetto. Tamar sound ghetto. Nene sound ghetto. They're just, just loud, ghetto, big mouth women who think they are entitled to stay what they want to stay to whom and whoever. And, you know, it's just like, it, it's, it's not like that. Y'all can't do that. And then when somebody speak their mind to you, 
Now you playing victim or something. They, they bullying you and this and that. No, big mouth. Learn how to shut up. Learn your place. And you will not be in all these problems. People don't be, people who get into it with everybody and don't got no friends, they do not look around and be like, oh, dang, maybe I'm the problem. They don't do that. They blame everybody else. Everybody else is the problem but them. So you know what? Tamar, I don't feel bad for you. Don't kill yourself, but I do not feel bad for you because what goes around comes around. How you treat people is how people will treat you. Even if it's not the... Even if it's not the person that you treated bad, they might not treat you bad. It's going to be somebody else down the line that's going to treat you bad. And I believe this is her karma, so I do not feel bad for Tamar. I'm glad Nene got the boot. I'm glad she gone. The ratings are not going to go down. When she was off for one season before, um, when she was, like, doing Glee or whatever she was doing. This was a long time ago. She won on one season, and the ratings did go down a little bit. But when she came back, baby, they did not go up. They stayed the same, and so the season will be, I'm sure it'll be just fine without her. Latoya Forever is going to be on um, a Real Housewives of Atlanta. I've been watching Latoya Forever for years on YouTube. A lot of people who are, like, in their 30s or 40s, they don't know who Latoya Forever is, but I've been watching Latoya Forever for years, since I was in high school, and I'm 29, so yeah, I've been watching her from the very, very, very beginning, and so I'm glad to see what she's going to bring her and her husband, Adam, they're going through like a divorce thing, or separation right now, so I'm glad to see what they're going to bring to the show, and I'm just glad Nene got the boot, and y'all tell me how y'all feel about it, and I'll talk to y'all later, bye.